Hello guys, it's Pai Guru this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn how can we intercept our Android device uh, requests using Bob Switch. Okay, so now here I am on the documentation page and this is my Android device. I want to intercept its browser application request using uh, our Bob Switch. Okay. Now, so in the documentation page, it says how to configure an Android device to work with Bob Switch. It has certain steps and we'll be following the same to do it. So let's get started without wasting any time. First of all, open your box switch. Uh, go to proxy tab. Here you have to go to proxy settings. Then here you have to click on uh, edit. Or you can edit not working. Just click on add. And here select a specific address. Then you have to uh, find your IP address. So open your CMD. And type IP config. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi and currently my IP address is this. So I'll just uh, uh, verify this 192.168.146.150. So just select uh, your IP address. This one is my IP address. Your will be different. And here you have to give a code. So currently we are uh, binded 8080. So I'll just bind it to a different code 8081. It's up to you. You can bind any port. Okay. Once it's done, click on OK. Allow. And for now, temporary, just uncheck this one. Okay. So only your Android device uh, request will be intercepted. Otherwise, both PC and Android device uh, will be intercepted. Now we are good to go. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to just go to our uh, Android device. Now here, uh, connect to the same Wi-Fi with which your PC is connected. So both my this uh, Android device and my PC is connected with Vivo T2 Pro 5G. So I will open it. I'll scroll down and here you can see proxy. Click on proxy. Then click on manual. Here you have to type uh, hostname and hostname is the IP address uh, which we just uh, got on the our uh, CMD. So 192.168 and 146.150 and then the port. We remember we put bind it to port 8081. Okay, we are good to go. Just click on uh, OK. Once you are done with it, what you have to do, the next step is you have to uh, do import export CS certificate. So click on this export CS certificate and here click on uh, this first option certificate in their format. Then click on next. Then choose a path. Uh, here you have to just uh, paste it somewhere so I'll just paste it on desktop okay so desktop and I'll just uh, give it a name let's say cacert dot der remember you can give any name but the extension should be dot der okay then click on save and next so it was exported just let's just verify and here is the our file so now that we have this, we have to move this file in our uh, Android system. So let's see how can. So I'll just copy it, and my device is currently connected via USB. So I'll just try to paste it. I'll go to my device. Uh, you can paste it anywhere. I'll simply paste it here. Okay. Now it's my, in my uh, system, uh, Android system. So next, what I'll do is, I'll uh, let me just share my screen. So what I'll do, I'll just click on the settings like this and here in the search I'll type install certificate or you can simply type certificate. Okay, it's totally up to you. And once you find it, uh, what you have to do is uh, simply open uh, this install a certificate and then see a certificate and then click on install anyway. And it, it may be possible that it asks you for uh, you turn on your device uh, USB debugging, so just turn on. So here, click on a certificate file, and it will say your uh, certificate is installed. Now we are good to go. So I'll just go to Chrome here, and I have a website opened here, and I'll go to Bob Switch. So uh, let me just close this one. I'll go to Bob Switch. I'll just turn on the intercept, and now if I click on uh, this username, admin, uh, you can give anything and password like admin and if I click on submit 
you will see the uh, my request will be intercepted here so see it's working username is admin password is admin and token 20056 so this is how guys you can intercept your android device request using bot suite so this is it thank you see you in the next tutorial